The first game in today's edition of JRPG Censorship is Grandia. Those of you that have played this classic game probably found it a bit strange that within the town of Palm exists a cafe that only opens at night and with entry restricted to adults. Well, I can confirm that your suspicions were correct and that the cafe, as well as the numerous references to coffee, were in fact censored overseas to remove alcohol references. This fact helps explain the peculiar behaviour of characters such as the old adventurer Java, who is a frequent customer at the cafe, thus is quite the drunkard. Next up is Landstalker for the Genesis, which whilst is not widely known, is highly regarded by those who have played this hidden gem. During the events of the game, the party will come across a ballet studio, and like Grandia's Cafe, you will find that some of the comments made by the NPCs are pretty odd for something that is simply a ballet studio. Yes, well in Japan, the place was actually a brothel. Another element deemed too hot for the West was being able to enter the room that the character Kayla is bathing in, which was made inaccessible overseas, even though it still exists within the game's files and was even fully translated. She doesn't seem to mind though, inviting the protagonist to come closer, unless you turn her down anyway, in which case she gets pretty mad. Also censored were numerous items, a bunny girl named Bunny Chan was changed into the Oracle Stone, the erotic book became the spell book, the bunny girl costume turned into a shortcake, and the G-string was changed to the pawn ticket, and naturally that's pawn spelled P-A-W-N. The last game for today is the very first Breath of Fire. To begin, the character Khan not only had their name changed when localised, originally going by the name Dank, but their skin colour was changed to avoid looking like a racist representation of someone from African descent. Now Khan, or should I say Dank, does not really appear to resemble a black stereotype in game. I mean their skin is grey for a start, but looking at the official art for the character makes it clear that this was an artistic interpretation of this sort of design. Another change was made to a massage scene. Whilst in the western versions, there is a quest involving an old man rewarding you for a massage to soothe his aching back, and specifically requesting for the female white mage party member. In Japan, the dialogue gives a very different picture. Originally, the creepy old geezer is paying money to be allowed to rub his hands all over her. In fact, if you talk to them again, they say something along the lines of, Oh, you want me to rub you some more? You certainly are a lustful girl. As always, thank you for watching. Censored Gaming is the definitive resource for Censored Gaming. Make sure you have subscribed to stay up to date with the latest edits and changes in games.